Hello internet viewers and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force. When we last left off, we entered Mon Arena, turned ourselves into a chicken, and eventually gained our newest recruit, Henri. She's a magic user. Not like Chris, she doesn't heal. She is a powerhouse. Or at least she will be. Right now her magic isn't that high yet. But she's definitely not one that you want to do a whole bunch of regular attacking with. We find ourselves in a brand new battle, hoping to gain an orb, which is in here. And we must get through him. The brand new force to be reckoned with. He's going to be a tough cookie. But enough about him, let's kill you! Yes! I love when he follows instructions. Alright. Now that's more like it. Let's go, May. Follow his example. Or not. I can hope. Bats are already getting into formation. Here we go. A little demonstration of Henri's power. Yes! Even at level 3, 7 damage on a zombie. As I said, the magic ignores their defense. It is straight damage. That's going to make her very helpful and able to level up very quick. Hopefully those bats aren't going to be all that annoying later on. But we'll see if my luck while recording holds out. Good. Wasn't poisoned. Eh, I was really hoping she'd be able to walk all the way around, but... This ain't so bad. He's only lost two points so far. You could just go ahead and finish him off. Or not. Oh well. Not that important. May can finish him off. There we go. She needs the experience more anyway. Henri, let's use some more blaze on this zombie. Maybe I'll have you take him out completely. You need to start leveling up to reach everyone else's level. And of course, they don't break formation. Because they are silly. Now normally, I would have Chris attack. And then bring Max over. Max, jeez, I'm doing it again. Bring Bolt over. But, as you recall, we have a spellcaster there who is able to cast Blaze level 2. So here, here, and here are not safe. In fact, if I went right here, it would hit Chris and Henri also. Not so good. That killed both of them. So instead... Let's switch up your weaponry. Hmm... I know there's quite a bit of attack here, but let's see how much she does. Two points! I don't even think that's worth it. Oh, whatever. Finish him off, Henri. Yes! Ooh, eight. Even better. Now, did you notice how little magic she has left already? 
She only started with 11. Blaze is 2 points each time. That gives me 5 uses right now. Of which I've used 3. So, yeah. 2 uses left on that. Not such a good thing. Mmm. Once again, we'll hold back. I don't want to send Chris into danger. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and take out this mage here, since he's the only one who can do it in one hit. And that's just barely. Let's have May switch back to her good weapon. Start taking out these snipers. There we go. Bats aren't breaking formation yet. We have to get all the way across the bridge for them to start coming after us. Hmm. Do I risk it? Well, she's only got two attacks left anyway before she's almost useless. So let's go for it. Yes! A little four. Attack by one. And maximum magic by five. That's the one that matters for this character. Lots more magic. That just gave us three more uses in the, in the next combat. Oh my, ouch, one point. Let's see how Omri fares. Wow, she survived, awesome. That gives Chris something to do. Eh, you can stand there soaking up the damage. Finish him off, May. Good girl. Alright, Henri. This is your last use. Make it count. Ooh, one point left. Oh well. Hmm. You know what? I'm betting the bats are gonna go right for bolts. Yeah, they're gonna get in a hit or two. But Chris has leveled up some. She can take a couple of hits. Especially from bats. Send May over to tank a bit. Good, she's hitting. Bolts to tank some more. And this should successfully defend Chris. So far, luck is holding out. And Henri has just become a melee fighter. With crap attack, crap defense, and crap health. Maybe she can just be a meat shield, who knows. Nope, nope, nope. That would be a dumb move. Because then they would be targeting Chris because she's a healer. Not because she's the only thing in range. Hmm. You can stay there, I think. It's 
still not constantly one hitting them. Hmm. No, if I move you, it'll attack Chris. So let's give the girls something to attack. You know, I just realized. Bolt is the only man on the team right now. <laughs> He's starting his own army of warrior women. There it is. Seven points, not bad. The more experience she gains, the more magic she can use. Uh, what's your health at? You're fine. Yeah, once again. Oh. She can take hits, she can give hits. Everybody attack. Y'all need the experience after all. Really? So we were beyond those shenanigans. Of course. Lips only two points. It's fine. Hmm, the mages are moving into their new formation. Oh, come on. Well, that means you're basically sacrificed. And asleep. So you're not even gonna know it. If I can finish off this bat, though, Henri should be fine. The bat will move up in line and attack Chris. In theory. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Haha. -ha. Even if it doesn't move, it's going after bolts instead. same though. Let's try to finish it off. Alright, does Henri wake up? We'll find out after this attack from the bat. Nope. She's still asleep. Well, Chris gets to use another heal. Probably heal Bolt after we kill off the bat too. Else you can follow directions. <laughs> Out of curiosity, how close are you to level 11? Not very. Oh well. Let's see. Um, Paul's got what items? Got a couple of healing seeds. Healing seeds and antidotes. I couldn't be needing the antidotes so much for the rest of this comment. Ooh, you got a space open. Did I really forget to buy a healing seed for you? Huh. Oh, well, it's actually beneficial now. Um... Alright, let's move the rest of the team into place. Henry's still asleep. Wonder if she's gonna sleep out the rest of the battle. Wait, I was gonna heal bolts, wasn't I? I don't know, this way's faster. Um, yeah, why not? Let's heal him.
More experience for Chris. Always good. Yay, level six. Attack one, speed one. Eh, it's kind of good for magic, but oh well. Okay, um... Well, while we got the healer around, let's test just how close we can get to these guys. That's close. Okay, if I get one step closer, I'll be right within range. So let's not do that. Hey! Henri woke up. Awesome. Leave May there, move Henri up, move Chris over, still not attempting target, that's good, and the entire reason I came this way, power ring, you equip that and your attack goes up, you can also use it for an attack boost, very temporary, breaks it very quickly. That's right, items have durability, but only the ones that you can actively use. Whether or not it breaks or cracks is entirely dependent on the random number generator. There is a chance for it to advance to the next broken stage. However, if it is cracked and you use it, guaranteed it will break. And then you lose the item forever. Not a good thing. However, it is a very good thing to have it equipped. Lose a bit of agility, but gain more attack power. He will equip it for now. I will give it to one of the members later. Probably me. Let's see. I think I will heal real quick before taking them on. Because they might die in one hit right now. Besides, Chris could always use more experience, right? Okay. Assuming they don't break formation, this is the safest spot. Yes, thank you, May. It's exactly what I needed you to do. If they don't break formation, only one will attack her. If they do break formation, May's dead. So, um, yeah, he can only go up that far. What if I enticed you with him? No. That would be a waste. I'll keep him here. As much as I want to move her up. Or move him up and her out of danger. Again, as much as I'd like to, I don't want to waste Chris like that. Yes! They stay in formation. Good. Move you back so that you can heal and move Bolt up. Okay. Now he will take a hit. Sorry, Henri, you're not strong enough. But I will move you up a little. Since it seems the mages do not break formation. Another eight points. All right. Last magical heal on May for another ten points of experience.
Alright, May, come up here and attack. That should guarantee I kill him. Of course, with the new power ring, that wouldn't be a guarantee anyway. Alright. Let's not be let's not stand between the boss and the hero. Just to make sure. I didn't think so. Okay. Now, technically, I can just do this and wall up on him until I win. That'll take about 14 more turns. Let's see if we can't speed this up a little. That's better. Did you see how many experience points he gained? That was good. Now let's make sure he's not gonna die. I got plenty of money, so let's use a couple of healing seeds to increase Chris's experience a little. When healing, you'll always gain at least 10 experience points, which is nice, but only if you're a healer. Oh, only 6 damage. This is going to be easy. Go ahead, mate, you get in one more pot shot. And Bolt gets to finish him off. Now use a crit? Come on, man. Always got horrible timing with that. Look at that, 48 experience. I have not gained 48 experience in a long time. No stats? No, it cannot be! After all these centuries! Bolt, the orb of light must be within that chest. Take it quickly. Ooh, <laughs> I just relaxed. Um, uh, let's, oh no, not the speed ring. Let's give the power ring. Give it to, you know what? Let's give it to Chris. Chris could use some power. There we go. Bolt discovers a orb of light. Alrighty then. Thus completes this combat. I will grab the rest of the boxes off camera. Well, I'll show you what's in them afterwards. But for now, I really need to end this episode because I pushed it far beyond my usual limitations so I could get one of these out of the way in a single run. In the next episode, we will take this Orb of Light, and we'll see what good it does us. Hopefully, it'll give us some interesting plot development. I'll see you then!